Good evening and a welcome to a sunny Tuesday evening Compline in Somerset. Let's take a moment as we always do. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit, in Jesus the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesus, my King, O Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, Bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin shadow lie down with me. O oh God of life this night, O oh darken not to me thy light, O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. First of all, we're looking at one verse from No, we're not. <laughs> we looked at that two days ago. <laughs> Excuse me. We're looking at one verse from the book of James. Chapter one, verse six. When you ask for something, you must have faith and not doubt. Anyone who doubts is like an ocean wave tossed around in a storm. How do we avoid being pitched by storm-driven waves? Surely a deep understanding of the ocean and a sturdy seaworthy vessel are the best tools to combat the onslaught. The same is true for the person who desires to sail steady on in faith. You know what it is to have waves of what-ifs battering your trust in God's promises. Yet you also know that your storms of doubt are merely bluster and that you can learn to steer clear of the storm. God is the strong vessel of your confidence. He carries you to your destination. So tonight, have faith. Enjoy the calm, the calm waters of believing in him completely. Psalm 107 verse 29 and 30 say these words. He stilled the storm to a murmur and the waves of the sea were hushed. They rejoiced when the waves grew quiet. Then they guided them to the harbour they longed for. A prayer before we go into a time of quiet, maybe to think of the storms of your life 
and give them over to God and wait for the calm that he gives you. Dear God, help me to realise when I am approaching a storm of doubt so I can also avoid it by putting my full faith in you. Amen. Let's have that quiet. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesu, Son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesu, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesu, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope in the storms of life that you will feel that peace that comes from our Heavenly Father and our Saviour. Good night and God bless you and I'll see you again tomorrow.